This is Alistair Christie, welcoming you to another Delphi training movie. In this guide, I am going to show you a system for delayed form creation. This is a fairly simple system, which works by creating a form where it is first used. It's not really necessary in our simple example, but if you have a really complex form that takes a non-trivial amount of time to create, you may not want to do it when your application starts. Instead, it may be better to create it just before it is required, so your application initializes quicker. So, let's take a look as to how it works. Let's create a new project and a VCL forms application and add a new form. To this, let's add a button and in the on click event, add So rather, rather unexciting so far. Next, let's go to the project options and only create form 1 automatically. Now here's where things get a little bit interesting. Rather than having this is a variable. We're going to convert this to a function. So what have I done? Well, basically, I've delayed the creation of the form until it's first used. So if we um, uh, run this again, you will see that it still works. And in fact, if we put a breakpoint and run it, You'll see that if we uh, step over, the form gets created. And if we do it again, it's already, uh, already created. Oops. It's also worth noting that um, we can um, change things here if we call this um, and look back at the source we'll notice that it's updated uh, in the various places except for there but otherwise it, it all seems to work fine so basically, I have shifted the form access from a variable to a function, such that when the function is first called, it creates the form. Not much else to say. Except, just a final note, you need not create just one type of form. Depending on some kind of setting, you could create a descendant form instead, like the example here, where managers get their own special form. <laughs> 